heartbreaking new details on the father gunned down at a local Starbucks. Tonight, we're speaking with friends of the victim who was shot and killed at that local Starbucks. They say he was homeless, but trying to turn his life around. 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi spent the day talking with people who knew him best. She's live near Rainbow and Warm Springs with the interviews you'll see only on 13 Action News. Masa. Steve, Trisha, friends tell me that the victim didn't even have a bed. In fact, this park, Nevada Trails Park, this was his home. Despite the challenges that he clearly faced, he was able to connect with so many people and touch so many lives. He was the kind of guy that I knew if he was around, nothing would have happened to me. In one year, he made such an impression. Alexander Kutshishvili, better known as Sasha, the blue-eyed man she saw every day at the park, including that morning. And he goes, I'm going to get a cup of coffee. I'll be back. She never saw him again. He was shot dead. The killer police say Pedro Garcia, a complete stranger who walked into a packed Starbucks with a loaded gun. Minutes later, a confrontation, yelling the fatal shots. He probably assessed the room and knew that he had to do something. That's just the kind of person Sasha was. Hypnotherapist Alex Marak met Sasha at the very same coffee shop. And his eyes was bloody and uh, he was like very tired and I asked him, do you need the help? Sasha said yes, he wanted to change. If he's asking why you want to stop drinking, he said because my daughter, um, I want to have good relationship with her. She means to me a lot. Marek says the 41 year old turned his life around and the months before it was cut short. Tonight, a daughter without a dad, devastated friends, so glad they showed kindness to a stranger. And today we learn new details in this arrest report. Police say that the suspect was in the Starbucks for about five minutes when he opened fire about four shots. Police believe he only stopped because his gun jammed. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News.